have a fun video of my Disney haul and I'm going to share some tips and tricks I found over the years by going to Disney every year. We go about two to three times a year to Disney and it is my obsession. I'm a big Disney World fan. Never been to Disneyland, although I do hope one day I can visit there. But for now, we mostly should, we mostly go to Disney World. We just got back last week. Me and my husband went on a couple's trip. My little boys were well taken care of by their Gigi and Papa. So I'm really excited to film this video today. I bought, I hope I didn't buy too, too much. I feel like I, I kind of budgeted this year, um, but just kind of watching our budget. And this is one of my first tips that I've it kind of wanted to jump into was in the past few years we've gone and I've spent ridiculous amount of money on souvenirs. I mean, let's be honest here, who doesn't? Unless you just, you know, you don't, but I'm really, I have really bad spending problems where I'm like, I go to Disney World and I'm like, I want to buy everything and I know I can't and that's okay. So one thing that I found that really helped us the last two trips that we've been on is buying Disney gift cards. Um, and in case you don't know, you can buy Disney gift cards at Sam's Club, Target. Um, I don't think Walmart's, Walmart might sell them. To, uh, Sam's Club, Target is the best places to buy them. I've heard even BJ's Wholesale sells them. I don't really know a whole lot about BJ's Wholesale. We don't have one here, but I have heard they have um, the gift cards and you can use like the card and all the stuff. Anyway, those two stores I'm going to jump on is Sam's Club and Target. I like those places because you can usually save anywhere from 5 to 10 percent on gift cards. Hey, babe. You usually save 5 to 10 percent on their gift cards. So my biggest recommendation is going to Sam's Club and every paycheck buying a 25 to 75 dollar gift card. If you've got more in a paycheck, spend more. That's just the way I've done it is if I have a little bit extra each month, I just put it every paycheck. He gets paid twice a week. So, or not twice a week. That's not right. Twice a month. So, every paycheck, I'll just buy like a little gift card here and there and I'll save it up. And that's kind of what's helped us budget. And then that way we can kind of watch how much we're spending. Um, Sam's Club, as I said, usually has them for like, a, to give you an idea, a $500 one for like four nine four eighty four seventy I think. And then you can get a... um. And if you go to Target, you can get 5% off their gift cards if you have a Target card. And I heard recently they had a coupon where you could, or like a Target Circle thing in the app where you could save 15% off and stack it. I don't know. I didn't do it, but I'm still recouping. But yeah, so that's kind of one thing that helps us save money at Disney World is just kind of budgeting with Disney gift cards because you can use them practically anywhere in Disney. You can use it to book your room, to book, um, to pay if you're DVC, pay your annual dues, all the things. Um, and it really helps us save money. So I think there's only like a few places you can't spend them at in Disney. It's like little like cut, like owned, like, like personally owned places, but for the most part, you can use them at Disney. So let's jump into the haul. Okay. So the first thing I got were of course, these ugly Crocs. I'm I'm gonna call them as I say them. They're ugly, and I'm thinking about selling them. Um, they're cute. They really are cute. I just I don't think I'm gonna wear them like I thought I was. I might keep them. I don't know. The reason I bought these was because the day we went, it was we went to the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party, and the day we went, it was monsooning. I mean, it we, we started out nice, and then it just started monsooning. And so, by the time the party was over, our feet were soaked. Our tennis shoes were wet. It was awful, but I wanted to buy some, so I got my husband some, and then I got me a different pair, and I fell in love with his, so I bought these, and I just don't, I don't know if I'll wear them. I'm still debating on if I should sell them or not. I might have them stick around for a little bit, but for the most part, I think I'm going to sell these. Um, and let's jump in. So, the first thing we got from the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, that's most of what this stuff is, is I got this shirt. No, this was not Mickey's Not So Scary. This was from um, Avatar. Pandora, Land of Pandora, whatever it is. This was such a cute shirt. It's the Pass Holder Limited Edition shirt. Super cute. I just, I just fell in love with it. Um, this was our first Pass Holder trip. We've never been Pass Holders before. We became this year, and I was really excited. I was like, anything goes as Pass Holder, let's buy. Um, but this was really, really pretty. I think it's like a gorgeous shirt. I just think it's so unique looking. So that's the first thing I got. I bought and then also okay so let's talk about this I rode Tron you guys if you know me at all you know I don't like fast rides I don't even ride like I don't ride roller coasters when we're there I don't ride anything with the drop Pirates is even pushing it with the drop Frozen's pushing it with the drop I I just don't do it so this year when was our first time to go when Tron was open and I told my husband I said this is a once in a lifetime thing for me which it's not a once in a lifetime thing but I was like this is like the one time I will do it with you is when we're on our couple's trip and I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to bite the bullet and do it. Y'all, I passed out twice on the ride. I literally went limp and passed out twice on the ride. And I wish I would have had somebody film it, but you can see in the pictures, I might try to include a picture in here. You can see I'm just bare knuckling it, holding on to this 
dang ride. And both times my husband looks over and I'm like leaning limp on the ride. And sure enough, I passed out twice. My, <laughs> my Apple watch says so. My heart rate before we got on the ride was 182. I was that terrified. I got on it. I did it. It was fun in the places I do remember. It was kind of fun, but I will never do it again. So in order to, com to corroborate, wait, what's the word? To, to basically celebrate that, I got this Tron shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm going to wear the shirt and say I did it, but I'm never doing it again. So it was an awesome ride though. I will say my husband read it twice, loved it. I was not my favorite. I will never do it again, but it was wonderful. I mean, it was really fun in the moments. I do wish I didn't pass out, but next thing was, this was from the Mickey's not so, it's inside out. I did wear this, but it's inside out. Um, it's the Mickey's not so scary, right? scary Halloween party shirt. I tried to wash all our clothes while I was there, and I don't think I washed this, and it's inside out for me taking it off. So, this is what it looks like. It's just really cute. It glows in the dark, and then the front has this really cute um, Halloween little thing in the front. I got mostly clothes. I got mostly clothes. Okay, the next thing I got, so this time around, we stayed at Yacht Club. I've never stayed at Yacht Club. I don't think we'll stay there again just because it was, I mean, it was beautiful. It was beautiful, but we're DVC, so most of the time, you, in order to, like, tra transfer your points to, like, outside of DVC resorts, it's more expensive. Um, we could stay at Beach Club. That's not right. We could stay at Boardwalk, which is very, very close, but I just don't know if we'll be able to stay there again with our points. But of course, I had to get the Beaches and Cream Soda Shop shirt. We always go to Beaches and Cream. We really like it. Um, we've gotten the kitchen sink before. Not get it this time, but I got a Beaches and Cream shirt because I just thought it was so fun. I don't know. I was like, let's buy all the shirts. I guess so. This one, this is my, I think my favorite shirt the whole entire trip I bought. This was beautiful. And I know it's like not everyone's cup of tea. It is from the Avatar Pandora Land. It was so pretty. I mean, I just couldn't get over the color of it. It does, You can't tell exactly like on the camera. Let's turn the light off. How do I turn this on the green light off? Hold on. Um, I should turn this off for just a second. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. It looks like it just lights up. I know it's glow in the dark, some people said, but it says Avatar on the back. Not in love with that, but the color of the shirt itself, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, next thing I got was uh, the <laughs> matching hat to the ugly shoes. They're not ugly, but they're just not my cup of tea. But I love this hat. I don't know why I like this hat. I just think it's so cute. So I got the hat um, and it was really cute. Okay, let's see. I got the Avatar bag while I was there. It was so pretty. So like everything was so pretty. I did ride flight of passage and that was really really fun I've never done that before we don't go to animal kingdom a whole whole lot while we're there because just because it's not my favorite park <laughs> it's a pretty park it's fun but there's just like it's not a whole lot to do in my personal opinion again it's my personal opinion like if you disagree cool um I just didn't love it I just I we went and it was great but we were done halfway throughout the day and we're like let's go back to the resort and swim um, so that's the one thing I didn't love is I wish Animal Kingdom had more to do. Um, but I also got this spirit jersey. It says Mickey's not so scary Halloween party. And it's just really cute. I don't know. I thought it was really cute. It kind of looks like a Haunted Mansion shirt. I think it is. No, it's not. Yes, it's, I don't know. It's really pretty. And then I'll just share some freebies we got while we were there. Um, of course I keep our, I like, I'm so sentimental. I keep all the stuff. Like I kept our maps. I'm surprised these didn't get soaking wet, but my biggest recommendation to all of you guys is bring a poncho because I was able to put the poncho over my backpack, which was really nice. So I got three of these mats. I also got the D. So they're giving these out to DVC members. It's the Disney Vacation mem Member Commemorative. What's it called? Com commemorative. Commemorative. Um, pin or medallion is what they call it. But yeah, it's really cute. You're supposed to be able to collect them at all three um, resorts, like Disneyland. Disney World, and then Alani. Um, they gave us two new magnets. Kylie got this. We were celebrating his birthday while we were down there. And we went to Tusker House. had the best waiter. Um, his name was... I'm trying to find his name on here. Um, I think his name was... Shoot. It was Chris, I think. It was Chris. He was the best. Anyway, they gave him this little card, which I've gotten in the past. But what was nice was everybody signed it that worked there. I was like, oh my gosh, that is so meaningful. So I did get that for my husband or they gave that to my husband. Sorry. 
Um, I also got, this is one thing I did buy was the pass holder magnet for the food and wine festival. I also got a, got a, um, I got a bunch of ornaments and I don't know where they are right now, but I got one of the food, wine, cause it was the wine and uh, food and wine festival while we were there. So I got a magnet from there and then I got, um, the magnet out there on my fridge right now, a magnet from beaches and cream, a magnet from beach club and yacht club. And that was really fun. I like to collect things. I also got the annual pass holder uh, magnet which Kylie got one too it's the Oswald one and he got one too because we're both fast holders so um I also got um two of the these were our things the little trick-or-treat bags I'm just showing everything to y'all um and then the last thing we really got I kept my little wristband I'm so sentimental and they also gave us this pin that says um the villas at Disneyland hotel that's opening up that's I think open and open now and that's literally everything that's everything I got from <laughs> Disney World. I feel like I spent an arm and a leg because the spirit jerseys are freaking expensive. They're so expensive. So that's something you want. Um, buy one. I bought way too many. I actually have another one that I wore the other day. It's the orange one with the pumpkins on it. Just, just ridiculous. I mean, really, they added up to like stupid, stupid expensive. I don't recommend the spirit jerseys either because they don't wash the best. But if you're gentle, if you wash them like very gently, you they can last. But that's one of my favorite things to wear while we're in Disney. So, of course, I had to collect those. So, okay, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me throughout this video. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye-bye.